Well, this morning we are following through on the storms and tornadoes that tore through Northeast Ohio three weeks ago. While it might be already a distant memory for some, for others, the cleanup is far from over. News 5's Clay Lepard takes us to Lake County, where the Holden Arboretum looks to bring back its big crowds after it saw more than 100 trees damaged. It's not the kind of slideshow you show your friends after a family trip, but what happened at the Holden Arboretum earlier this month is something that many here won't soon forget. It's been a whirlwind, um, literally, I guess. <laughs> As Beth Kelly at Holden Forests and Gardens, which oversees the Arboretum, points out, the 250 core acres people flock to was forced to close for a week after the storms without power, and with more than a hundred trees broken, busted, and bent. And then all along this trail, we had so many trees down. We drove the grounds to see what it looked like now three weeks later. Stumps and logs could be seen at several turns, while major sections like the botanical gardens looked as if they'd been unaffected the entire time. As Kelly points out, they're wrapping up cleanup for the most part, reusing as much debris as they can for mulch or other future projects. Take care of the damage, but also keep track of the damage because we're a living museum. Of the debris that's left, like this 60-foot tulip tree, crews say they hope to have that cleared out by the end of the week. However, the popular canopy walk, that is set to stay closed for a while as they wait for specialized crews to repair this intricate system of cables. One of the cables um, that holds up one of the, um, one of the uh, structures actually needs to be replaced, so it's, it's a delicate process. It's not clear yet what the final bill will be to bring it all back to a new normal. However, the Arboretum has raised more than $65,000 so far to help with cleanup. In Kirtland, Clay Lepard, News 5.